Iran's foreign minister warned Israel on Friday that if it carries out an attack on Iran, Tehran will retaliate more strongly than previously. If the Israeli entity takes any step or measure against us, our retaliation will be stronger than the previous one, Abbas Arachi said at a news conference in Beirut, referring to this week's attack on Israel that saw Iran launch 180 missiles. Our response will be proportional and fully calculated, he added after a meeting with Lebanon's parliament speaker, Nabi Barry. Arachi also claimed their attack on Israel was an act of self-defense. We did not start the attack but what we did was in retaliation for targeting Iranian territories, the Iranian consulate in Damascus and Iranian interests, he said. He said he had discussed a ceasefire with Lebanese officials, adding that Tehran backs any step that leads to a ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah on the condition that the rights of the Lebanese people are preserved. He also said that a ceasefire should take effect simultaneously with one in Gaza. هر گونه اقدام دیگری علیه ایران بکنه اقدام ما از اون سختتر خواهد بود و ما حتما پاسخ خواهیم داد پاسخ ما متناسب با متناسب و کاملا حساب شده خواهد ما شروع کننده حمله نبودیم بلکه به تهاجم اسرائیل به خاک ایران به سفارت ایران در دمش و به حمله علیه اهداف ایران پاسخ دادیم. برخلاف اسرائیل که اهداف مردمی و خانه های مردمی و مسکونی و زنان و کودکان رو مورد حمله قرار میده ما فقط به مراکز نظامی و امنیتی اون رژیم حمله کردیم. ما از تلاش هایی که برای آتش بس صورت میگیره حمایت میکنیم به شرط اینکه اولا حقوق مردم لبنان رعایت شده باشه کسانی هم همزمان با آتش بس در غزه باشه a few people southern Israel on Thursday were seen near the fragments of an Iranian missile that was intercepted by Israel near Arad. The Middle East moved closer to a long-feared regional war the day after Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel and Israel said it began limited ground incursions into Lebanon targeting the Iran-backed Hezbollah militia. Israel said it intercepted many of the missiles, and officials in Washington said U.S. destroyers assisted in Israel's defense. Iran said most of its missiles hit their targets. There were no immediate reports of casualties. On Tuesday night, Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel in what it said was a retaliation for attacks that killed leaders of Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Iranian military. It referenced Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and Revolutionary Guard General Abbas Nilforashin, both killed in an Israeli airstrike last week in Beirut. It also mentioned Ismail Haniyeh, a top leader in Hamas who was assassinated in Tehran in a suspected Israeli attack in July.
Russian President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday attended the opening of Rudnevo Industrial Park in Moscow on Russia's Day of Professional Education. Putin was given a tour of the educational facility and had a meeting with students who create and develop drones. Rudnevo Industrial Park is a new facility in Moscow aimed at providing training in the fields of aviation industry, including drones, unmanned aircraft systems manufacturing, mechanical engineering and electronics. During the visit, Putin was accompanied by Moscow's mayor Sergei Sabayanin and Russia's Minister of Education Sergei Kravtsov.